You know, one of the first times I ever saw you in person, Dean, I think it was in Macau when Tyrone Woodley was fighting. Was it Don Young Kim? Yeah, yeah. The stun gun. The stun yeah, gun. Yeah, the stun I mean. gun. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know- Do you still see Tyrone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just talked to him the other day. That's that's my boy, man. He's always doing something, man. That's the most resilient individual I've ever met. I mean, he's a guy who it doesn't matter what happens to him. He lost his last like four or five fights in the UFC. Then he goes and gets knocked out by Jake Paul, but you still can't tell him nothing. He's still the man. You know, he's still yeah, yeah, he's yeah. still doing his thing. But you know what, Mike? That's not the first time I saw you. The oh, very God, first time on. I know. <laughs> no, wait a minute. This is. I Get swear. Ready to I swear. This out, everybody. <laughs> I swear this is good. You're going to love this one. It okay. was. It was before that whole Dung Young Kim thing. I, I was in L.A. shooting like this reality show. It was like like low budget reality show. We were shooting a pilot, and we went into a club, and inside the club, you and Rampage Jackson were on the dance floor with your shirts off, twirling it around, doing the helicopter. No. I no. swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. And I was like, I was, cause you know, I was, I was just kind of doing my thing at the time. You was, you was the man and you and Rampage was the man and you was in there swirling your shirt around shirtless oh, in the God. club. I was like, Oh hell no. Nah. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh shit. There is a picture online of me and Rampage with our tops off. If you Google it, you can find it. And it's very, very embarrassing. Cause you know, Rampage, <laughs> you know, he, he's, he's, I mean, Rampage is the man. Shout out to him. Um, He's got all the bling and the big chains and everything. I'm from the north of England. We don't wear shit like that. But I was all skinny and I've got his fuck. I've got my shirt off and I've got his chains on and I look like an absolute <laughs> dickhead. Hey, you're only young once. We're having fun. Yeah, yeah, man. Speaking of sly old dogs, speaking of being only young once, this is a segue. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, man. Look at this. <laughs> Brian. You're fired. Um, you must have seen this news this morning. I've got to get your take on this. Dean, you've been around the fight game forever. You can't stay in your prime, right? And, and we're not talking about somebody in their prime. We're talking about, I'm talking about Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson oh, is God. 58 years old, taking on Jake Paul. I've come out and I did a, did a couple of tweets on it. You know what I mean? People think I'm being a hater. People think I'm being jealous. You know, as we know, Jake Paul's doing his thing. What the hell? No, do you no, this, 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 this is this is not doing this is not doing your thing. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I couldn't I couldn't be more upset by this because yeah. now this is just taking it too far. I get it, man. Okay, you want to fight a couple guys in their early 40s and still think they got it. But you're gonna be fighting a man that's almost 60 years old. And the problem with that is that I talked to some guys today who don't really know a lot about fighting. And they really were like, Oh man, Jake Paul's gonna get beat up by Mike Tyson. And I was like, He's almost 60 years old. So the fact that there are people that believe that this can be competitive or that Mike Tyson's going to win this, I was like, man, you're crazy. He's almost 60 years old. There's, and Jake Paul ought to be ashamed of himself for doing this. He ought to be ashamed of himself for calling out Mike Tyson to try to fight the legacy and the history of what Mike Tyson has done. That's, that's embarrassing. That's exactly what I said on Twitter this morning to him directly. I said, you should be ashamed of yourself because <sighs> what does he gain out of this? What, what is he going to do? Is he going to go out there and legitimately try to knock out Mike Tyson? Because if you do that and it, and you're successful, when a man that's almost 60 years old, that's just disgraceful if you ask me. And then, God, for, I mean, it'd be amazing to see, but it's highly unlikely because Mike Tyson's probably got one round in him if possible, right? And the power's the last thing to go. If Tyson was successful and managed to find that shot, I mean, that'd be incredible. But what does he think he's achieving? I have no idea. I mean, think about when we saw Evander Holyfield and Vitor Belfort. I mean, it wasn't even competitive. And you, you have to take into account, I mean, I'm 47 right now. And I can't fight nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. At 47, I couldn't imagine fighting a 25-year-old. I couldn't imagine it. Yeah. And the fact yeah. that he's doing this and calling him out after all he said about the fight game and helping fighters and all this, I want to help fighters make money, blah, 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 blah. This is his way of giving back to the game and, and putting boxing on the map, calling out Mike Tyson. Come on, man. If you want to help yeah. Mike Tyson, allow him to be to be the special guest referee. Yeah, 100%. And the, and the way that he did it as well, he put on Twitter this morning, there's a video of him and Rafael Caldera hitting pads. And he said, oh, one of my promoters or whatever sent me this two weeks ago. 
and said that Mike Tyson is interested. And when I look at this, I'm like, yeah, yeah, this really excites me. Heavyweight, let's do it. I'm like, dude, how stupid do you think the buying public is? Do you really think people are buying this? Listen, fair play to Mike. Go out there, do you think? I hope he makes a shit ton of money. More importantly, I hope that he's okay. But really, I mean, at what point, as a man, as a man, do you allow this to happen when you're in your prime? I don't, man, I don't get it. I, To me, I feel like commissions should step in and go, This we're not going to allow this to happen. I mean, what other sport do you know where a guy is almost 60 years old and still can get in there, except for golf, maybe? But like you couldn't, you could. They're not going to let a a sixty year old play football or basketball. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous why this is going to even happen. This should not even happen. Like you said, if Mike Tyson were to able to land that punch and knock him out, I mean, that'd be a gift from God. But it's unlikely. It's highly unlikely that that's going to happen. So the thing with Jake Paul is, we don't want him to be good. That's it. We just we don't want him to be good because he's he talks a lot. He's a YouTuber. You know, we just we want him to suck. But he doesn't. The reality is, is yep, he doesn't yep. suck. And he spent the last four or five years, spent millions of dollars to have the best resources in the world and the best coaches in the world and dedicated himself to the sport of boxing. I was in, in the corner of Tyron Woodley when he knocked him out. It was heartbreaking. Watching Tyron Woodley go face first into the canvas, I wanted to completely quit combat sports at that moment because I was like, it ain't worth it Like to watch my friend get hurt like this. Yeah. And so Jake Paul can fight. Let's make no mistake about it. He can fight. He fights better than what we wanted him to be able to. But the fact that the commission would allow this is, to me, is a disservice to combat sports. It is a disservice. And Harrington, our producer, just put it in the notes. 50 is the age limit for the senior uh, tour in golf. So he's way past that. Um, (laughs) He's way past that. So my thing was this. Look, Listen, to be fair, we're all trying to make money. Okay, Mm -hmm. money makes the world go round. It is a vital part of Western culture. Everybody needs money. Okay, and the more of it, the better. Of course, he's made money. And I'm not just sitting there trying to rip on Jay Paul, but he's got money. By all accounts, he makes millions of dollars every time he fights. From the YouTube side of things, he's made millions and millions of dollars. At what point, as a man, you just say, it's enough. I don't need to do this. And I know we're going around in circles here, but it was just an extra point that I just thought of. It's like, dude, you've got the money. Take on some real boxers. Be a fighter. Challenge yourself. I, I don't know, man. Honestly, and me and me and Anthony Smith talk about this all the time. Like, I'm just not a greedy person like that. I, I mean, I need, I got, I got to make money, and I got to live the lifestyle that I want. And it's not yeah. lavish. I, you know, I just, I want to be able to eat at McDonald's whenever I feel like it. You know, that's it. I don't need anything. I don't need a Lamborghini yacht. But these guys, like, at what point do you just go? All right, man, this is this is enough money. I don't need to sell myself out for money. And I feel like these guys are selling themselves out for money while they're already rich. And it doesn't make any sense to me. 